The fast-growing sport of paddleboarding, it's a fun and an easy way to be out on the water. Now, since you're standing at your full height, you can see everything from beautiful sea creatures to what's on the horizon. It's almost like you're walking on water, not to mention it offers a full-body workout. Experienced paddleboarders and those who are beginners can test their skills at Key Largo's first Triple Crown. Now this three round race series will be taking place around the waters of Isle Mirada and around the waters of Key Largo. Scott, thank you for being on the show this morning with me and talking about Triple Crown. Thanks for having me, Jenna. I appreciate it. Now let's get into this event, Scott. Is it really for beginners? Well, yes, we're going to have a separate course just for people with not a lot of experience paddle boarding and for youngsters and for people who have their dog with them or people who want to bring a small child on board, uh, as well as courses set up for open class and the elite class as, as well. Mm -hmm. so, so is it is it pretty competitive though? The elite class and the open class are very competitive and the other classes, we're calling them more like a novelty class, and they will be competitive, but they will be more fun than, than competitive. Okay. Now, why did you decide to start up this event this year? This is the first, the first Triple Crown. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just opened my business in May, mm -hmm. and we are really very excited about paddle boarding and getting it out to the public. And September is typically a slower month in Key Largo because kids are back in school and the winter people haven't come down yet, so it's kind of an in-between time. So we wanted to bring business into Key Largo, and we wanted to share paddle boarding with as many people as we can. How many people do you expect at the event? We expect anywhere from 30 to 50 people. I have uh, about 15 registrations already for uh, the first two rounds, so we're, we're kind of on track for that kind of a goal. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you personally like about paddle boarding, Scott? The thing I like most, besides the, the workout, is that I can see below the water. Mm -hmm. It's almost like snorkeling, but out, outside the water, and you can cover a lot of ground, and it opens up the, not only can you see the above the water, but you can see below the water. Mm -hmm. Now, Scott, you mentioned that you just opened a business in May. Mm -hmm. What's your business like, Scott? Uh, my company's name is Paddle of the Florida Keys, and we're at mile marker 94.4. We rent and sell paddle boards and kayaks, and we also do eco tours, which uh, we will do a private tour for as few as two people, and usually a maximum of eight. And we take people into the mangroves and discuss the ecology and the ecosystems that we discover as we're on that trip. Okay, and what's the response of all of your customers? Do they just fall in love with paddle boarding once they try it? Pretty much <laughs> everybody gets hooked on it. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing that the people who have kayaked traditionally are, have been the highest users of their watercraft. So in other words, there are still more canoes in the country, but the kayakers go out more often. And it seems like the paddle boarders are even more enthusiastic than that. So their number of trips per year is very high. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now can people still join Triple Crown if they're interested? Maybe we've got them interested in paddle boarding this morning. <laughs> sure, uh, they can go to our website and then there's a link to active.com right from there and they can register or they can register on site. Uh, all three venues will have uh, on site registration beginning at 8 o'clock mm -hmm. and the races start at 10 o'clock. Okay, do you think you're going to keep doing this each year? We want to, <laughs> yes. We're very excited about it and the sport of paddle boarding is still relatively new and it's mm -hmm. in a very fast growing stage right now. Um, eventually that will kind of level off, but mm -hmm. uh, we, we do anticipate doing this as an annual event and we want to keep it in the September timeline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully all of our viewers, you know, paddleboarding, it, it again, it's a, it's a great workout. It's easy and it's fun to just be out on the water and get to enjoy everything around you. Yep. If you want more information about Triple Crown, you can contact the number on the bottom of the screen and check out the website. Thanks, Scott, for being on the show Thank this you, morning. Thank you, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.